what's going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode we are going to attempt to see a really nice storm i'm hoping it's going to be a really nice storm forecast models and radar show a very strong linear storm system moving through the ohio valley and down towards missouri and kansas and i know supercells are popping off in the kansas area and the missouri area rather and it's uh it's got a lot of uh it's got a lot of lift a lot of nice vorticity and looking at the skew t diagram which is this thing right here which is what got me really excited is it is showing a very nice signature of possible severe weather so pretty much what this is showing is a line of uh, dry air and moist air and what happens to the the air parcel the air parcel is like an imaginary clump of air what happens when you lift it so the skew t diagram is showing a uh what are you doing i can't pass you the skew t diagram is showing a very high probability of an unstable atmosphere so if you think about it like this the sun heats the road water falls on the road the water heats up the water changes phase into vapor phase it rises up it condenses down it loses that heat and it goes into the surrounding atmosphere right then the air parcel is stable but what happens sometimes is whenever you have dramatic fronts like this and just real thick air parts or thick fronts and shit like that stuff like that shouldn't cuss um it's it's showing that after that air parcel has lifted and condensed it's still buoyant in the fact that it's still going to lift and that creates a lot of turbulence that creates a nice nice environment for severe thunderstorms to form also the radar signatures are showing a pretty strong temperature gradient it really doesn't take much but this is like a 15 18 degree fahrenheit temperature gradient so usually whenever you have something like that you will have a very nice looking uh wall cloud sometimes scud clouds will form you will physically be able to see the front as it's moving in and uh super excited about that i'm gonna set up shop i like that bike it's white i don't like the harley but i like the bike and uh i was i got distracted by something but yeah uh so hopefully that will be really nice to look at uh a lot of lightning is what i'm hoping uh, and a lot of heavy rain hopefully just uh real nice photography or whatever so i'm actually headed out to mercedes where i bought the bike actually i'm going to stop and get something to drink and then i'm going to head down to mercedes to kill a little bit more time because it is hot and i don't want to just be chilling but i have a pretty nice view i have a pretty nice view to the west mercedes is there we'll look over there and uh watch this watch this storm come in together hopefully get a nice time lapse try out the new tripod and all that stuff but i'm super excited again radar showing some very promising signatures the skew t i'm super freaking excited about that temperature gradient i'm super super excited about uh lightning maps are showing very high activity behind it uh there is possibility of a, a hail core which is also very nice that's essentially how lightning happens right uh i won't bore you with the details but it's basically updrafts with water vapor connect with downdrafts of really cold air and uh hail so those hail crystals and ice crystals and the water vapors they zoom past each other changing uh uh given passing off electrons and all that stuff so then you get the imbalance and a lot of lightning so i'm hoping that that's what we're going to see and uh i don't know that's all we can see what happens i like that truck i like the color of that truck but i'm going to get off here and i will be right back as well we pulled up to the spot and uh we're just kind of going to play the waiting game you can already you can already start to see see it coming through uh, i'm not going to start the uh i'm not going to start the um time lapse yet but probably in 20 minutes or so I want to start it and uh, I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens.
thought I'd just give a quick update with, uh, with where we're at and what it looks like. Uh, hopefully it doesn't start like, uh, sorry Bill, no oh, Bill, Bill, Bill now the science guy. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't uh, start to lose power because that always happens every single time. I'm not hearing any lightning or anything like that, but temperatures are definitely dropping and wind is definitely picking up. So, you know, we're just uh, we're just gonna see what happens. You're starting to see a little bit of swoop action right back in there. Good sign. Nice leading clouds. Another good sign. You can see the humidity down there. Another good sign. And uh, I don't know if you can see the stratification there, but there's a uh, there's some uh, shear pattern. So I don't know. So just saw uh, just saw first uh, first strike of lightning. I think unfortunately the lightning is going to be rain ramped, which is always a bummer. But um, and then again, if I seen a seen a strike, it is possible that it is in front of the storm, which is nice. Starting to get a lot more turbulence. You can see it in the clouds there. Uh, we got a little bit of lift. I don't know if you can make it out right there. You got some lift there, and you can definitely see where the rain's at. I'm I'm really hoping that uh, whenever this thing gets closer, it will be a very well defined roll cloud wall cloud scuds like hoping uh, i just keep getting uh more notifications um it is a uh it is a severe it is a severe thunderstorm warning uh facebook's lighting up with a bunch of severe weather forecasted so yeah and uh we're still chilling on the bike but we're looking at now seems like the heavier stuff is further down south but still gonna get hit with something looks like it's uh relatively close actually i can just like screen record it that would just be easier so yeah see what happens i hope the time lapse at least looks looks good so this is actually pretty good sign i don't know if you can see with the direction of the wind it's it's on and off but it's going towards the storm which is really really good it's an updraft or at least it's sucking moisture inside of it um it's whenever the wind starts to come in the other direction and it's noticeably cold uh that's when you know oh there's lightning down there that's when you know maybe i'll just kind of record like this for a little bit and just see what happens yeah she's about to get wet it's about to get wet the wind hasn't shifted yet you can see the uh see the direction of the wind with the plant so it's still sucking in you can see the the swooping action right there so that's always good again once that wind shifts and it's super cold it's like evaporative cooling right the rain's falling and it's evaporating and sucking out the heat because you know water to water to vapor cools the atmosphere like we discussed earlier and uh that gets pushed out of the storm it's almost like an exhaust system Alright guys, what is going on? So uh, I do want to mention that this audio is different. This is actually me sitting uh, in my apartment. Uh, I can't do audio whenever it's raining because I will mess up the adapter and these things suck as it is. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a move um, in this video because as you can see, that is pouring rain. There was a little light back there further. And it is completely gone so this is super heavy rain and uh, I, I ride in the rain a lot and I, I don't want to just ride in the rain I really want to see a little bit of development and I, I did notice that further down the road it looked like there was a little bit of development as far as like um, 
like a, a nice uh, wall cloud. So I, I am going to make a move here. And uh, as you can see right here, right on the left, right hand side, past these trees, you can start to see it. And I want you to pay attention, like look at the depth of this like there's there's actual depth of this and it is really nicely defined you can start to see it here you can see the separation of the clouds and then you can see the 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 inflow and then you can see the precipitation down underneath of it but i am glad that i made this move because it would have just been just rain right where I was at even though it was like half a mile down the road uh, a little bit of distance does make a big difference I am going to point here because I want to see if I can get a better shot pay attention to the the flag right up here and notice that it's pushing out of the storm system like what we were talking about that's that gust front so there is going to be a lot of evaporative cooling wind with this storm system but I, I i do pull over here real quick because i want to just just look at it for a second because who knows i might not get a, a, a another opportunity to see something really really nice further down the road who knows we've seen just up the road it wasn't doing anything and right here it is so i mean very beautiful though absolutely beautiful i i don't see or hear any thunder or lightning i it uh it was rain wrapped i did think that a lot of it was rain wrapped whenever i uh, was watching it come in and i didn't see a lot of it so you know that's unfortunate uh this the storm didn't produce too 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 much thunder and lightning or rather lightning and thunder but it it did produce some uh you will see a, a little bit of it but it just wasn't that kind of just wasn't that kind of storm the ingredients weren't there so to speak but you can see uh, right up here it's it's starting to look a lot nicer things are starting to open up a little bit um, right now i am looking for a place to pull over that uh that i can get a good shot so that's what i'm that's what i'm currently looking for right here and um i, I do want to mention that i am paying attention to the road i am paying attention to the road uh i'm kind of like pointing the camera with my helmet while looking side-eyed at the road it's kind of what i'm doing here but absolutely absolutely gorgeous like you can really see that development and you can still see turbulence clouds right ahead of me um in the, the the lighter area of the sky you can kind of see how it's a little churning action if you will but i do i do want to find something very nice i do want to find something that is a little bit more open i want to get past all these buildings and trees and hills that probably would have been okay but that building's right there so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and scrap this idea but look at that look how nice that looks it's gonna be a torrential downpour whenever this thing hits but it is it is well worth it because i have chased a lot further and got nothing so this is really nice that this is right right in my own backyard and uh yeah absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna start uh start to turn in here um yes i do notice that i didn't use my turn signal which is not good obviously in many situations especially a situation where there is uh limited visibility i'm really really hoping that there is a pull off into this store here because i've never been on this road and yes there is a pull off right here let's hope it leads to the parking lot it does absolutely beautiful and now we can get a better view of this storm because this is absolutely nice this is not the first storm of the season but this is the first really nice developed one i mean I don't know if you guys have been, well, probably didn't have a choice being weather aware, but there has been so many storms. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that thickness. Like, that's thick. She thick. That's 
absolutely gorgeous, but there have been a lot of storms um, going through the entire country of the United States. So many EF5s, like dude, an EF5 is a pretty rare tornado. That is a huge tornado and there has been a few of them. I think three or four of them. Absolutely incredible. There was three of them in Pittsburgh uh, a couple weeks ago and just yesterday there was one in Maryland very close to Washington DC. So it has been a super active season but uh, it has uh it, it just hasn't been the right conditions i mean it has we've been getting lit up with storms in pennsylvania as well but a lot of times they're nocturnal where the atmosphere becomes a little bit more unstable and then thunderstorms start popping off this i was very very lucky to have such a beautiful linear storm system come through just at the right time i think right now it's like seven o'clock so we're getting close to that uh nocturnal phase but we uh we didn't we didn't uh we didn't lose this time so absolutely gorgeous and i am so happy that i was able to to see this and and share this i hope you guys enjoy the video i, I know it it, it might have been boring in the beginning but that's that's kind of what storm chasing is right you're you're gonna go hundreds of miles not in this situation but you're gonna go hundreds of miles to look at clouds to hopefully see something so it's not all you know awesome footage a lot of times it's forecasting and hoping for the best but we we lucked out here look at that that is you see the rain right like you see that light area under the dark cloud that is pouring pouring rain and uh the wind is starting to pick up pretty heavy now if you can see where the dark cloud is uh lined up with the road it's pretty much perpendicular well i guess that's still per perpendicular just vertical uh so we are getting really heavy wind right now and again with the ninja 650 with how uh light and all the surface area you can really feel it on this bike um i'm still really dry at this point in time uh so i'm i'm still relatively dry the the rain hasn't really started yet it's it's raining but uh not compared to what it's about to do here in um about a minute <laughs> about a minute it, it comes through and it comes comes through pretty hard but as you can see right now it's 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 starting and the wind is kicking up even further so it's uh it's a good time though i'm super happy again and i'm quit saying that i am still very happy look at that Look how beautiful that is. That's a beautiful view. Like that is an absolutely gorgeous view. I would much rather ride in these conditions than on a summer day. I hate the heat. Uh, the rain's starting to come down now. You can see the, the rain's starting to really come down now. And I have to be very cognizant of flooding issues, especially when you first get rain on the roads. That's gonna start washing around oil and debris that's accumulated on the road so you know the first few minutes of a rainstorm is usually well is the most dangerous because of that but uh, i do i do gotta pay a little bit more attention because of uh some flooding and just you know the visibility not only my visibility but how people people's visibility they they might not expect um an idiot on a motorcycle to be on the road right here wind hits me broadside pretty hard with that bridge but yeah visibility is definitely a big thing we're gonna do this nice and easy nice and easy nice and easy and this is where the the heavy rain really starts a little bit of lightning there so you know again there was lightning but because the rain was so heavy you couldn't see it and you couldn't hear it because the the rain how much rain there was it it does dampen the uh the the sound waves so you know that's kind of the the situation that i'm in right now as far as this storm goes but 
uh, it did produce a tornado somewhere further east of me. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't remember exactly when because this is I'm I'm as I'm talking. Look at the road. Look at the road. How fast the wind is blowing the rain. Um, this recording, I'm what I'm recording right now is literally the day before this is supposed to be up. So, but uh, I uh, I am completely soaked at this point in time. Uh, that's what that gesture was. I am completely soaked right now. Uh, the rain is coming down even harder now, and there's still harder rain to come. But it's uh yeah, it's a fun time. I tell you what, like yeah, this was. 100% worth it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of flooding over here. Um, low visibility. Again, uh, people probably don't expect to see a motorcycle out in this. I mean, it does happen. Some people get caught in it, I guess. But, you know, we don't hide under bridges. Not in this household. We do not hide under bridges. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I am getting completely soaked by this point. By this point, I am completely soaked again. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. But the video is going to end here in, like... I, I guess it's got a little over a minute. But we can, we can wrap this up. We can wrap this up. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I have a couple other storm videos, so if that uh, is something that you want to see, please let me know in the comments, and I will put together that footage. Uh, the only problem with it is, again, it's it's kind of boring in the sense that there's a lot of lightning in some of these videos, but there's also a lot of gap time between lightning, so I, uh, I just got to figure that out. But, uh, you know, yeah, look at the rain getting blown by the by the thing and this is actually the heaviest right here is where it gets the absolute heaviest and i am kind of glad that i'm home um because you know I'm, I'm just completely soaked at this point in time and i was i'm worried about my phone i didn't want it to get ruined or whatever but anyways thank you guys so much for watching again if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, let me know if you would like to see more footage like this because I do have more of it. Um, unfortunately, it's at night though, which also makes it even more difficult and the video quality kind of sucks. But if you want to see it, let me know and I will definitely post it. But thank you guys again and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.